Good morning, good morning, and hey, morning. How you doing, people? So, tidy bricks. New patio, new job. Um, turned up week early. Got my digs muddled up. Oh well. Yeah, there's um, we got some concrete going in at the moment for an extension they haven't done. But as long as I keep out their way, it'd be fine. So yeah, this patio is about 100 square meters and we're using porcelain again from Marshalls. We're using this creamy one there, urban clay. We're using that as the majority of the patio and then we're gonna have a fancy border then going around the outside. You might remember from my last patio I did where I used like a deco. Well, this is the same the same group of tiles. That was the deco one we used on the uh, last patio I did, but this one we're gonna use this vintage. I think with the green and the cream for the patio, it's actually gonna turn out a really nice color. It was originally gonna be curved, but because we're using this type of tile now, with this pattern, we're not gonna go for a curve, we're gonna straighten up the corners a bit. But yeah, we've got a decent section around here. Follow me around your camera. Camera, follow my head. I know it's not the best looking head in the world, but I paid for you to follow my head, so follow my head. Um, there's a certain amount of patio there already. As long as it's got 100 mil hardcore underneath it, what we'll end up doing, we'll end up lifting up the slabs, slinging them, compacting it down. Then the new area over here, which we gotta dig up, obviously that'll have a 100 mil type one MOT on that one. So there's a little section behind you, which is gonna be a little seating area, might as well, might as, well see it. as long as the camera follows me. Follow, follow, follow. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, this area by there, this is going to be a little sitting area. So all this has got to be dug out anyway, proper base put down. Um, yeah, pretty much straightforward patio, really. Um, got a nice bit of shape to it. Section over here along these trees, where the grass area there meets the chippings under the trees, we're going to stick a load of sleepers down there. So you can go straight off the patio, onto the grass, and then have a nice border then with the sleepers going from one, one to the other. Um, got a digger over there, got myself a dumper truck by there. Um, all we need now is good weather. Good weather, good weather and we're good to go. Right, less of this faffing around, let's start ripping up the grass. Yes! The one thing I like about landscaping is you get to play with diggers. I love it. This is always the best bit. Voila. 12 tons of type one MOT. 100 mil going in, 50 mil a time, whack a plate, compact it, add the rest. So we have our heights needed and this is from paul fowler from cardiff he takes my waste away and gives me my hardcore great company tight squeeze of a job as well and then as soon as you dug it all out you've got to fill it up with type 1 mot hardcore just like this
Ja. And stop recording. Testing, testing, testing. So as you can see, we've got the first 50 mil down. So we've compacted that down already. Now we're gonna stick another 50 mil down and start compacting that. Testing, testing, testing. Hello, my friends. My friends, I need some help. I need some help because I'm gonna get my van wrapped. And I've been thinking about it. What do I do to my van to get it wrapped? Let me come sideways so you can see it. It's been like that now for the last four years or something. I'm just bored of it. I wanna change it, I wanna get something different. So yeah, I'm a bit crap at making decisions. And the problem is when you make decisions, Literally, a couple of days later, you'll see something else be better than I wish I had that. So, because I've got quite a lot of subscribers, I'm going to ask you guys for a bit of help. What do you reckon I should do to the van? Right, I'll spin it around and we'll have a quick look and we'll try to figure something out as a, as a whole. Make sense? I think it is. So there we go. How about that then? I'm leaving my design in your hands. Please come up with something good. Um, yeah, I was thinking, I tried to download some um, apps the other day for logos. I think, oh yeah, it's got, a lo it's got a new logo and stuff. And I was thinking about it, sod it, what do I need a logo for? As long as I got it on the side of the van. Tiny Bricks Landscaping. And then the bottom half then will be, as seen on YouTube, like and subscribe. I'm happy with that. I don't need all the other bits on it. So, there's the van. You got my number, is on the side of it. Help me out, and let's WhatsApp each other or whatever, email me, blah, 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 whatever. Whatever works. But I want to get it done in the next two weeks. So, um, yeah, it's about two and a half grand, but yeah. It's only money, in it? Can't take it with you? I'll keep it. And I'm not married, I haven't got any kids, I've got nobody to leave it to. Spend it if you got it, and that's what I intend to do. So, help me out, and I'd be much appreciated, so... Yeah, I'll leave it in your hands now. It's your capable hands. It's up to you to what I do to my van. So this is a quick, brief look at the patio, which we're doing. We're doing down there, around there, and here. So this pipe here, you see, that is literally just a 10 mil piece of pipe. And you get this with it as well. You get two um, cylinders, which you fill up with water. And as you can see, the water levels are spot on. I did do this video already last week, but I watched it back and I made a classic error and I left the tops on. So I left the tops on, so it was a sealed vacuum and it just didn't work. So I got to redo it all again. So yeah, quite simple little thing that. Just pipes, fill it up with water. Water always finds its own level. So I'll show you what we're gonna do now for damp proof course to where I need to go. Okay, so, hello. So the water level now is stabilized. I did just lose a little bit of water, but it's actually on the mark here. You can just see the water level there. I did just lose a little bit. But it's actually on the watermark I had previously leveled with a string line. 
so it does actually work so the water level now over that side two bricks below this side here mark that off so I know from the DPC height now to here is level so it's seven meters this way so I got to measure 70 mil down and then the string line goes on at that height then you know you've got an adequate fall then for the um for the water to run off the patio and this is a strange way of finishing a video off me doing at this angle oh well well i suppose you've got to be in amongst it haven't you but there we go that's pretty much it right i'm gonna stand up now okay josh we'll stand up now oh god so that is let me show you the pipe on the floor we did just trim the pipe down because it was a bit long oh i was a bit of faffing around but saying that 10 minutes faffing around and you know your levels it's that easy water never lies morning world scott again tidy bricks landscaping today we're going to be showing you french drain system and putting the soak away in Oh, let me just lower that out. It's a bit on the bright side. Oh, you'll have to excuse my ear. It's um, getting a bit wild. A bit like me. Wild. So, behind me, we've got a big garden going on at the moment. And it's all clay. It's all clay. So, we're going to sort it out. We've got we to gotta do the patio anyway. So whilst the digger's on site, we're going to do a French drain system running down to a soak away. Um, I'll spin around so you can see the pipes and whatnot. Okay, well, there's the crates we're using. Using four of those peppies. We've got 100 mil pipe wrapped in a weed membrane so sediment can't get into it. Then we've got a big trench there, about a foot down, we've got three of them. And then round the corner over there, we've got a sleeper retaining wall. We're gonna stick one up against there as well. But for now, we're gonna, um, we're gonna cover this section. So this crate here now behind you, we have to wrap that up in a weed membrane as well. These legs at the bottom that's the bottom of it so we chuck down 20 mil clean stone first stick that on top of it so no sediment can settle at the bottom uh now i gotta dig a hole big hole down the bottom so all these lead down to here there's going to be a patio behind it so that's all the three channels are going to lead into that actually four channels because that's going to be a sleeper boundary wall there. We're going to stick another one along that edge to connect into there as well. So time for me to start going digging. And as soon as I've dug some of it out, then we'll show you what the crack is next. Big up, ooh. I'm in a hole again. Wrong type of hole. Um, so, soak away sorted out now. We've got a good depth. The depth and the width is pretty much what we're after. So we've got a load of 20 mil clean stone we're gonna put in the bottom of it now. So it's permeable. So when we put the crate in, it's got a permeable bottom, the water can still travel through the bottom of it. So that's in position now. We'll get the 20 mil stone, wang that in, lever off, check dimensions one more time. Then we'll wrap up the soak away box and the weed membrane, stick it in a hole and um, connect the pipes up to it then. So, sun shining, do not want to be doing this on a wet day? This would suck eggs. Right, okay, so, right, okay, so, right, let's get some stone in there, I think. I'm going to hold my belly in when I'm talking as well, so I look like fat bastard sometimes. <laughs> right, see ya, I'm going. <gasps> So this is what the crate looks like. That's four of them together. Now we've got the weed membrane now to wrap around it, pick it up, put it in the hole, a presto.
So soak away is in the ground at required heights. I cut a hole in it there. And there's another three holes cut out there. They have to connect up to these and the one on the side, which is having one along the sleeper wall. But that's pretty much it. So we'll put a load of chippings in around the side of it now, then redig these trenches so it all connects up nicely. Testing, testing. So we got about two inches chippings down, pipe on top wrapped in the weed membrane. Fire away, young lad. So that'll go across there and then we put the earth back on top of it and then hopefully tomorrow because it's going to pour it down this afternoon hopefully this area will be a lot drier than what it would have been guys welcome back to the tidy brick show whoop whoop so french drain this one isn't it i got so many videos going on at the moment i can't remember keeping which one's which but yeah french drain uh we done the three over there i believe i've showed you that bit so this is the last bit now along here we've got a sleeper wall going between the grass area and the tree area so we put the sleepers in yesterday concreted them down and now we've got to put the drain in and throw the chippings in so yeah i'll spin it round now because we'll have a look at the um the actual subway bit down there back in a bit so here we go, we got the, um, I always say stuff like that. So here we go, so, 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 I gotta think of new stuff. Right, ignore that, it's all bollocks. Um, yeah, so our wall's in. Uh, we put a damp proof membrane up against the sleeper just to um, prolong a lifespan. There's the pipe there all wrapped up in the weed membrane. So that comes all the way down here, across the boggy bit. Then that connects into there. I've chucked the whole bag of chippings there to block the hole. So we've got three pipes there. One, two, three, you can see where they are. So they're in position. Now that's in position. Now I've got two tons of chippings around the front to sling in the hole. And when that hole's done, then I can backfill this one then as well. So that'll be another piece done. I do have some spare hardcore over there. So I'll wang that on the top. Then sometime in the future, it will be um, grass. Oh, hang on, I've just fallen down the hole. I'll tell you what, while I'm here, while I'm here, while I'm here, just in case, because this video is just for drainage, just in case you like seeing cool things, check this cool thing out. It's not my saw. It's the border tiles we're using on this job. So you'll have to watch another video for this. Check these puppies out. Swing, swing, swing. They're wicked, aren't they? They are awesome. Yeah, porcelain. Ting, ting, ting. Ow, hurts. Uh, yeah, so we had two choices, actually, before I go to there. Let me show you a whole one. So that's a whole one. We got that many and more around the front. So we had a choice of two patterns. We either had that pattern or that pattern. And we're going for that pattern. Nice. So that's going to go around the internal and external. So those tiles I just showed you there, that's them as well. Then we got four packs underneath there of urban grey. Same tiles my mate Matty's using. Brockstone Landscapes, he's using these. And he did tell me they can be a little bit concaved as well. So I've taken that into consideration. So yeah, cheers, Matt. Happy days. So yeah, customer likes that pattern over that pattern. But yeah, it's night and day. It's hard to tell which I actually prefer. They both look cool. Well, anyway, that's another video. I'm going to turn around now so you can see my mush. What's happening, people? Scott again, back again. Playing tiles today. Woo! Oh, by the way, van is going in on next Tuesday. I tell you what, it's not going to be a normal van. Far from it. Especially how much it's going to cost. Ridiculous. Absolutely like jaw huh, drop. How much? Have it. Take it. Right. Patio. Most important part. So I got the borders in yesterday. The vintage. 
Um, starting to leave some tiles now. Yes. Oh, there's been so much mud on this job. There's been so much mud. We've got Skip coming tomorrow. Take away one round the front. And it's just been horrendous. It's just been rain, rain, rain. Just like walking on a big pile of poo. Right, I'll spin around and show you what we're doing today. So if you've previously seen, string line, uh, where's my finger there? We've got all that sorted. So that's a temporary tile at the moment. It hasn't been primed. But as you can see, the border's in. Look at that for the border, eh? Wowzers. Very nice. So, um, this morning before I started, we had to dig out a section. You can see the fresh hardcore there, because we've been back and forth with the digger. It's really messed up the earth. So we've had to dig out what was there and uh, put some new hardcore down. So, corner. So, regarding these vintage border, because it's a set pattern, this bit's the most important bit. This bit's the most important bit, because this is the area which is going to be seen a lot. So, that border there, that has to work going all the way up here. And regarding down that end, the border works whatever we can manage to get it to work. So anyway, apart from all that. So the first one down the end is temporary, hasn't been primed. We've got string line laid on there, pulled mega, mega tight, so it doesn't dip or anything. And now we're gonna start cracking on and getting some towels in today. Somebody did ask me the other day, how do I level my cement? Um, I'll show you. Start off with a big dollop on the floor. Right, let's get my knee pad. Oh, God. <coughs> right, hopefully you should have a nice bird's eye view. Right, yeah, big dollop on the floor there. Swish it round. Get it as good as I can get it. Right, as soon as I... Move it round a little bit more there. I shall change my cam camera angle. Right, well that should be viewable from there. So, it's a wet mix, as I'm using these clips. So what I'll do, I'll move it round as flat as I can get it. And then when I'm around about where I should be and I'll put a couple of wiggly lines in it furrowing some people might call it I call it doing some wiggly lines oh I'm glad the sun's just come out it just lashed it down a moment ago and everything's soaking bloody wet Right, getting there now. A little bit over there in the corner. So when I'm leveling this round now, I'm trying to get this level to the underside of there. So I know as soon as I put the flag on top, then I know we're pretty much on the button. For the more leveling these are as accurate as possible means the less beating with a hammer all right that's pretty much where i want to go sometimes i use my level whilst i've actually got it here i'll put it across and i can judge this mark here to see if that looks like an adequate amount for the tile itself, which it does. So, right, time for some wiggly lines. Oh, and I've got to do this as well. 
especially today because it's wet everywhere. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Everybody do the wiggle. Right, time to stick it down. Right, let's move the camera. Uh, yeah, my labourer, um, he's just popped off to get his vaccine jab. So, uh, 800 by 800 is all by myself. Sweet. Got to prime it first. Right. Where you two? Where shall I be looking? That bit, isn't it? Time to prime. Definitely a two-man job doing these things. Or just me with my back support on. He-man and the power of Grayskull. Right, nice dollop of this stuff. Slather it on there. Hopefully there's enough in the bucket. Right, can you see from there? Yeah, of course you can. You're not blind, you. Right, rub the stuff in. Well, that worked out, all right. Just enough. Or as they say in Holland, precies genoeg. Okay, next set is grab myself a grabo. <laughs> right. Uh... And time to reposition. Oh, hang on, I gotta put my clips in first. <coughs> so, as usual, got my Vite clips um, from Tyler's Tools. I'll put his name up Tyler's Tools. Um, yeah, these are for up to 26 mil. Yeah, so basically that goes underneath. That screws on the top to lock it in. They call it a self-leveling system, but it's not. But it does lock them in position, and it does let you remember which ones you've laid already. So we're not going to go overkill with these. I'm just going to go one on each side. Take that thing off. Take that thing off. And bring you closer. So, this is where these clips are cool. Oh, I have to turn it around, otherwise you can't see shit. Right, so the, the tile is in position. It's a little bit high at the moment, which is perfect. So what I like to do, I like to do this. Oh, I have to lean and hold the camera. Uh, uh. Right, put that thing on. So it's not gonna shift around anywhere. And put this one on as well. There we go. 
Right, so now I know it's not going to go that way or that way. So I'll tap it down around about where I got to go and I'll check a couple of five mil spaces in. And um, where can I put the camera? I shall put it by there. Oh, God. Nice, got my five mil spaces. Loads of people ask me about these spaces. Yeah, it's just five mil spaces you get from from anywhere. I would show you the packet. This one is by Vitrex. Means nothing to me. Right. Uh, tap this down around about where I want it to go. And to finish it off then, just tap it into the corner. And that, my fellow YouTubers, is how to lay a tile. Right, I gotta go put a mix on. All right, let's sort the mix out. Four and one sharp sand. Day in the life of a landscaper from Tidy Bricks. Morning. Customers made me a beer or brew already. Happy days. Ah. Right, okay, so let's have a little walk round. Let's see what needs to be done. Just had a delivery of two ton of sharp sand earlier, so that's good. We'll get a mix sorted out shortly. And a quick little look round of what I got to do today. Sometimes landscaping can be really horrible, especially with crap weather, which we've had a lot of. But today is really nice. It's going to be good for a week. So a little walk around, figure out what needs to be done. Got a load of porcelain tiles there. Got to cover that up with some membrane and some timbers. So that's pretty much first thing we got to do today. We've got a couple of guys in there, they're doing the inside, ripping out doors and stuff. Rock and roll. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's get prepared, let's get a mix on, let's start doing some stuff. All right, catch you in a bit. Enjoy me. So every landscaper is always cutting tiles. Make sure you've got a good saw to do it. This one's a beast. Tap 
lifted it up, feel like being Woody Woodpecker. All right, get these caps on, stop them from moving around. Cut the spaces. Fish in the Bosch. Another one in there. Lush. That one's in. Let's put a little bit more cement for that. Don't need that. Not yet. What a lovely day. Yeah, I'm just picking my van up later. Ooh, can't wait. I might even do my happy dance. If you're lucky, I'll do my happy dance. I probably will. I like doing my happy dance. Alright, a little bit more snap there. Another dollop on that bit. Okay, smooth all that off. Get ready to do the wiggle. Just another little dollop, just in case. Alright. Ready for the wiggle? You all know the words now. Wiggle, wiggle. Everybody do the wiggle. Right, another tile. Ready? <laughs> oh, prime tile. Gotta prime these things. Ah. Drop them in place. Take the suction thing off. Grab a couple of spaces. Before you know it, I'm finishing off my cup of tea. Ugh. Good. Right, space in there. Space in there. Tappity tap taps. And before you know it, I'm back on my tea break. Cheers, everybody. Testing, testing, testing. I might even do the happy dance today because it's Friday and I get my van. Happy dance. Some people call it dad dance. Jag är det och kommer att komma runt till och försöka få personer som tar över. Jag är med sig själv i på den Chocolate biscuits. Don't leave those things in the sun too long because they'll melt. Right, let's start eating my plowman's lunch. So, how's your break? My break is going quite well. Swipe right, swipe right, swipe right, yeah. swipe left, swipe right, swipe right. Pretty much how I spend most of my break. Scoff on my face and swipe in mostly to right, and occasionally, nah, swipe left. But apart from that, all good. Thanks for asking. Hang on. My favourite part of laying a tile is doing the wiggle wiggle. And this is the wiggle wiggle. And you've got to sing along with it as well. Wiggle wiggle, everybody do the wiggle. And now, Pick a tile up. Oh, oh, just step over the line. Grab yourself a grabo, everybody. <laughs> I 
get my exercise at work as well, so I don't have to go to the gym when I get home. Ah, one more. Ah, right, that's enough of that. Right. Easy way laying towels. Fish. And a bosh. So, yeah. Tap it down now with a hammer. And going home. Whee! I can jump in my massage chair. Because I got a bit of a bad back. So, I'll catch you later back at the house. Just got out of the taxi. Pulled up the popping graphics. Behind that blue door is hopefully going to be the best wrap for a landscaper ever. Better be. Testing, testing, testing. Door's just open. Here it comes. Oh, I tell you what, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I am loving it. Oh, check that out. That looks cool as. Check that puppy out. Check it out, Mikey. Super nice. QR code works as well. Have tried it. Let's take it a little bit closer to it so you can see the material. Is that a cool material or what? Who wants to just go plain black? Plain black's crap. So I just got to sort the bumper out now in the mirrors. That's my next stop. That's where I'm going next. So, as it says, like and subscribe. So, tough day at the office, tough day landscaping, always nice to come home and have a massage. So, thanks on the tools, hope you enjoyed my video of the day in the life of a landscaper. It's been fun. I'm off. Oh, time for massage. Okay guys, like and subscribe. See ya. Goodbye. <sighs> what in YouTube world? Scott again, tidy bricks. Bank all day. Bank all day when in work. Brill. Well, the thing is, sun's shining. Why not, in it? Otherwise, just be sat in the house playing Clash of Clans and swiping right, swiping right, swiping right. Bored. I'm trying to don't take long to get bored of doing that. So yeah, we're coming to work and we're gonna start doing a little bit more tile laying. Right, I'll spin it around. So one of the first things first gotta to do today, gotta to change this blade. As you can see, the blade I got on there at the moment, there's not much of it left. So, Philip from Pulvex Diamond. I asked him the other day for a new blade and he's sent one out next day delivery, happy days. I'll put a link up underneath. Anybody needs any good tiles, tile cutting discs, ring this dude up. So here we go, check that out. That's a good blade. See how much thickness that edge has got compared to that one. This is a big 350 mil blade as well. And that's the type of price you're paying if you want a big ass blade. Yeah, Polvex Diamond. That's the fella. There's the number if you want it. I'll stick it on the thing anyway. But yeah. Gotta have a proper blade if you want to do a proper job. I'm not sure if I'm going bald. Have a look for me, channel while you're at me. Am I? Can't tell. Nothing's drastic. I think I'm definitely losing a bit, though. And I'm losing my marbles. <laughs> All right, I'll show you around then. So, we've got to there. Border detail, let me zoom in for you. 
we're coming across there we're just going to come towards me now next then start going back across that way yeah it's taking shape happy days and i got my new blade as well on my saw cheers phil nice one mate pull vex diamond rocks the boat Always a good way to start the day with a clean trowel. Yeah, I don't know what happened yesterday, just got lazy, I think. Sun melted my head. Well, nice clean trowel to start the day. Happy days. Testing testicles, testing testicles. So we've finished off around the back. Now we've come around this side to dig this up. Expecting to see a hardcore base. Monkeys. Ugh. It's all on flipping sand. And they've bedded tiles on top of sand. What a bunch of plonkers. Here we go. Let's lay some tiles. Ah, nice four one sharp sand mix. So we do earlier. Shovel loads on there. Right. Knee pads. Gotta have knee pads. Oh, because I'm old. And it helps. Right, get this round as level as we possibly can. And we can do the wiggle wiggle. In the life of a landscaper, eh? Love it. Right. Got yourself a pre prime tile. And time to lay. Looking good. A couple of taps. A couple of spaces. One there, one there. Nice to the line. That's how you lay a tile. Testing, testing, testing. Right, well, this is how you lay your tile. Get your cement bed down, which I've just done. Get it nice and flat. The flatter you can get it, the better. So, what do you think of these tiles anyway, people? I think they look great. All this vintage stuff's coming back in fashion. Before you know it, we'll be wearing dream pipes and flares. Right, okay. That looks good. Time for the wiggle wiggle. Everybody do the wiggle. Yes, it will be a top ten hit soon. Right, grab a grab out. Prime tile, always got to prime your tiles. Looks good. Ugh. Right, I'll beat it down to the line. Sure, it's running away from the house, really important. Got to run away from the house. Tidy. Oof. Friday afternoon. Woo! We managed to get so far down there. So, what we're going to do for the customer, 
we're not gonna leave it looking like a bomb. We're gonna peel everything up and give her a good pressure wash. It's, lovely, it's gonna be a lovely weekend. So, you know, if they wanna put the chairs out there, they got somewhere to sit and they, yeah, I can't leave like that. So, major clean down, a scrub. Just give you a quick little look round. So, I'll just shift the saw, we've got the corners in over there. All this bit down here is done. I did have a little go of the digger earlier just to fill up that area there because it was a bit low. So yeah, we got two half a paths to do. Half a path there, half a path there. Then do the bit down there next week. And um, yeah, we should be we should be almost there. So Monday morning. Monday morning, shed's gone. Happy days, so we've got to dig that bit up. Stick some hardcore in it. You probably didn't notice the other day what the patio looked like, because it was so bright. So this is pretty much what it looks like. These corners are nice, aren't they? Lovely. So we've got that little section around the end to do. Got a little section by there, but we're not gonna do that yet because we've got um, about 16 tons of earth to come in here. So we don't want to do the bit behind me yet until we get that section in down the bottom. Oops, excuse my finger. I'll get that section in down the bottom first. But first of all, before that, we got to go back over here and dig this bit up. And we've got a lovely week ahead of us. Lush. So if you remember rightly, there was three channels down here. You can see one there, one there, one over there. I just dug it out again earlier to take any clay off the top and put some new chippings down. So it should go through nicely. Um, patio's looking nice. So have a little butcher's run front. Do 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 ba 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 da ba. So, digger, dumper, tidy bricks van. Right, let's get me on it. And now time for the tricky bit. This is the bit I've been dreading. All the rest has been pretty straightforward, but this bit's slightly more tricky. <sighs> Cracking on nicely down here. <sighs> Tell you what, and have one of those moments. I think it's because I'm getting old. Oh. Oh, my head shot. I'm thinking, right. I got this again. Come on. Have one of those moments. I'm getting old. Brain shot. It's not even massively hot today, but you know, when your legs start wobbling and your brain starts going a bit. I'm having one of them. I'm having one of them. Uh, well, I had shot anyway, to be honest. You shot years ago, but. Working in the sun, I don't think I've had that much food in me. And um, getting a little bit on the woozy side, my head's going. So I think we might call it an early day. <coughs> so coming towards the end of the job now. Just got a little bit down this end to finish off by there, a couple of little cuts and that little section done. Then I got a couple of things I need to change down there on the bottom end of the patio. I gotta rip one up because it's got a crack in it. And yeah, that's about it. So that bit there is finished. Job's always almost done, guys. All right, watch out for the bright light. Bloody hot today. So you might not have seen me put this stuff in. I thought it was a bit boring. There's 20 tons of earth here. And what was nice, I used the dumper truck to actually track it all in to make it nice and firm. So that worked out a treat. So I got a tile over here that I got to rip up. I don't like it. It's cracked. Just got a crack on it. Uh, where's the two? There. Ah, oh, what a swine. Well, anyway, I don't like it. So it's coming up. So, got the cut sorted. Put that in yesterday. Nice good edge. So, 
I'm turfing it today, just waiting for the turf to turn up. So I thought I'll give her a quick pressure wash. I brought some cleaner detergents from Lifrothin patio cleaner. So I'm going to pressure wash off as much as the crap as possible first, and then I'll get the cleaner on it, get the towels polished up, ready for grout, which will only be done on a cool day, nothing hot, absolutely, definitely not, nothing hot. Well, my labour hasn't turned up yet, and i got to shift this lot on my own. <laughs> oh, never really done any turfing before. So I got 115 of them. Apparently each one is a metre squared. Oh, things cross the calculations are right. short around the side well I say a little bit short about 20 meters oh well there we go but at least that's in now so we've given that a couple of good hosings stamp her in a bit on the um, on the joints looking good so now I'm gonna get rid of some crap out the front chuck her in the van off hire some stuff pressure wash the drive pressure wash this then back Monday it's only Tuesday today I'm off tomorrow and thursday doing a promotional video for tool station so that'll be on youtube too check me out famous yeah so i'll talk to you more about that uh, another day but yeah as for now grass done fridging got the last bit of cuts in there is a bit by the manhole to do but there's been water problems some pipe um, coming out of the house got issues is leaking so I can't finish that bit off but this is the best bit this is the best bit check out the cool van we're putting boards in the van that means we're almost going home wow oh, here we go his last Last couple of tiles to be done. I can't finish it off today though, because I didn't even know there was a manhole cover there actually. We that peeling up the slabs. And the right hand side of that pipe there on the left, uh, there was water coming out of it. So there's been, it's been like that since about 20 years apparently, because it hasn't been connected up properly. So there's been water coming out. So a bloke came around yesterday, yada, yada, yada. He's come and sorted out. They can't properly sort it out till next week. So I'm gonna pre-cut this tile to go around there and it's right in the middle of one of the squares as well, as you can see the pattern. So that one there, that's obviously that one to go in there. So I gotta do some plunge cuts. Plunge cuts are okay if you got the right stuff. I do have the right stuff to do it, but it's still tricky. I've only got two tiles spare. Wish me luck. So I'm just hoping, I'm going to pop the Travis Perkins for a bit. I'm hoping when I get back, the Pixies have been here and they've done it for me. Don't know what the chances are of that, but let's go to Travis and see if the Pixies do it whilst I'm away. Okay, okay, I felt bad then when I was just about to cut this. I suppose I might as well show you how it's done, isn't it? So the manhole cover, that's levelled. That works from corner to corner. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So there's the gap there where I want to cut. So what you need to do, you need to do that. Then you need to mark off where that is. Go around to the other side. Mark off that. I've already done it. See that mark there and that mark there. So that's running in line with that edge. And I got one there, one there, and one over there. So I know where the tile edge is that I have to cut. 
So what I gotta do now, I gotta plonk the tile on top of it, follow those lines, mark it, chop it, install it. I would say it's easy, but it's not. It's a pain in the ass. Right, okay, so tile is on top. It's a nice size joint there. Nice size joint there. Nice size joint there. So these pencil marks now, I just link them up. I just link them up until I'm left with a square. Then I chop the square out. So I've joined up the lines now with a pencil. Then I've done it then with a Sharpie on top of that after. Because otherwise, if you put it on the saw, water on it, pencil mark's gonna come off and you've got to start again. Wish me luck. Oh God. Oh my God. Attempt one, ching, bust. Oh, fannies. So, round two, this time we're using an angle grinder with a porcelain <laughs> continuous blade. Oh, I haven't got many goes left. So, I just thought I would put a relief cut in the middle, just take a little bit of pressure away. Possibly, maybe, don't know, might have done something. Times like this, I need my mate Matty from Brockstone Landscapes. He's a whiz with a grinder. I'm uh, I'm not a whiz with a grinder. I got shaky arms. Oh my god! It just went ching again. I think I got one left. So we just got the last bit of turf in here. So that's in. I'm coming back in about a week's time to do this because um, because I can't finish it today. So. We're going to be doing some grouting around the back. Let's come around here. We're going to grout all this lot now. And walls in over there. We're going to grout this, grout that, grout as much as this as we possibly can. Then I'm off to Coventry tomorrow to do some work for on the tools. So... You won't be seeing that bit finished, that tile, because I want to get it up this weekend. Um, some chippings then to go around some of the sections of the patio. And yeah, pretty much it. Check out the van. So I've got my mirrors done. They're not electrified yet though. I need to get them wired up. Got my bumper sorted. Finally. Cool bumper, isn't it? Tidy. Right, I'm gonna do some medging. I'm gonna show you a little bit of medging. I'm not gonna show you too much because it bores me and it's quite boring. So for this job, we're using the Marshalls Exterior Joint and Grout in natural. Natural's like a greyish color. Um, so 4.25 liters of water. Mix it with a whisk for a couple of minutes, about well, four minutes. It was nice and runny. Pour it all over the tiles. We've got two squeegees there. We can squeegee it all in. Let it dry for about 10 minutes, something like that. Light spray of water. Out with the wash boys on our hands and knees, cleaning it. So that's pretty much a procedure. I'll show you a little bit more when we're actually doing it. But yeah, straightforward. But definitely don't do this if you've never done it before. And be really careful with temperatures. Today is um, cooler than it's cooler than, um, I think it was like 19 degrees or something today. So it's between three and 25 degrees, this grout. And you don't want to do it any close to 25 because then you're going to have loads of problems. Try it too quickly. The key is now is to keep moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it. Never let it settle. That's when you start getting problems. Right, time to squeegee. Okay. Testing testicles, testing testicles. You know, I said about the grouting earlier that I wasn't going to film it because it's boring. Talking about not boring, talk about stressful. 
Oh, actually, let me start, let me show you. We started from this bit there. And, excuse my filming. We got to about halfway down the path. And it was going hard. It was going hard already. Like, panic, panic. Tell you what, don't screw around with this. Uh, Marshall's exterior joint grab, never done before. If you're not prepared, screwed it. Screw I nearly screwed it, and I've done loads of it. Oh, I can sit down now, have a prawn mayonnaise sandwich with some prawn crisps. I don't even like fish. Actually, it's not fish, is it? It's a shellfish. Got the water boy out. The first. The first bit we did down there, it went off so quick. We um, we just used the pressure washer. Had to use the pressure washer because it was going lumpy as we were doing it. But I put an extra hundred mil of water with this one. So this is gonna, this has got a little bit more playability. That's such a word, isn't it? Playability. Oh, I don't know. I might just made it up. So the good thing with the boat, boy, you smooth the joints. Which is what it's all about. Go to patio. You on smooth joints, isn't you? So I think what we're going to do because it is quite warm still. We're just gonna smooth the joints and then get the pressure washer on it. Yeah, it's really hot. Well, it's not really hot. It's really clammy and humid. It's good stuff, this Marshall's exterior jointing grout. But I tell you what, it's driving me mental. Scrub, 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 scrub. It's good, it does what it says on the tin, but good God, it's hard to work with. It's driving me insane. It's stressful as well, really stressful. You spend all this time doing something and you can balls it up in one afternoon. Made the right mess. So, got the pads, got the, oh, got the old lift thin. Um, intensive cleaner. It's doing my head in. It really is. There's loads of other alternatives. The jointed, that brushing stuff. All right, it's not as good. It works. As long as you don't stick screwdrivers into the flipping joints. And uh, no stressful, definitely not going to balls anything up. Easy, 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 lemon squeezy, bish, bosh, done. This stuff, pain in the ass. Excuse my French, pain in the ass. Oh, I'm not doing another one today. Stress me out. i got to drive to Coventry after. Don't even want to do that. Let's mode in. Wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. Um, yeah, done. Well, not done. 99.26% done. Just a little bit of grouting, uh, a tub's worth of grouting, and one and a half tiles. So, pretty much there, isn't it, really? Right, I've said this so many times. I'll spin this camera around, show you what I've done. God. So, here we go. So, vintage. Vintage border. All the way around, it looks the biz. Urban clay, looks the biz. Camp chair, proper comfy. Nice, 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 nice. So, wall up yesterday, light fixtures in position. And we turfed the grass here this morning because we were tiny bit short all that's grouted all i gotta do now is grout this bit 
and one and a half tiles in there but i can't do that yet because of uh because that needs fixing oh yeah i gotta grab that bit down the bottom but otherwise oh move my finger out of the way but otherwise that's it that is it so there we go tidy like in it um yeah it's been a pleasure customers have been really good as well they couldn't ask for best better customers so that's been nice so skip was supposed to be coming today but it's not coming till tomorrow so you don't need to know anything about that skips are so hard to get at the moment skips are so hard to get at the moment it's unbelievable it's almost driving me insane right spin it around one more time so you can see my ugly mush right well here's my ugly mush um yeah just walking around just picking up little things like that don't leave a mess too much do i right that's it so if you like what i do come back watch more if you don't like what i do go watch something else right that's it okay i'm out of here it's been a pleasure hope you liked it like and subscribe happy days Ta-ra!